Christ and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Stone Slings and Giant Things David and Goliath Let's read Israel's first king was named Saul. King Saul did not obey God. So God said to Samuel, the prophet, find a man named Jesse. One of his sons will be the new king. So Israel's first king was Saul. Like people wanted the king, so like God made Saul as a king. And but Saul didn't obey God. And God said to find a man who named Jesse. Samuel found Jesse in Bethlehem. He looked at seven sons, uh, seven of Jesse's sons. They looked handsome and strong. Not them, God said. I don't care about looks. I care what about what's in a person's heart. So look, Samuel found Jesse in Bethlehem. And look, there were many seven sons. And they were all looking handsome and strong. But God said, no, not them. Jesse sent for his youngest son David, who was tending sheep in the fields. Samuel saw him, and God said, He is the one. <coughs> so David anointed the new king. So Jesse sent his youngest son, David. Like David was not like, handsome or looking strong. He like was tending his sheep. But God said yes, he is the one. God looked about what's in our heart. Question. God cares more about person's blood than what is in their heart. False. God cares more about what is in their heart. Sometime later, Israel fought the Palestines, a giant Palestine soldier called Goliath challenged the Israel to send a champion to fight them, but the Israel were all too afraid. So like when Israel and Palestine was going to have a challenge and God though in the Palestine there were a giant soldier who was a giant I think I have heard he was really true well maybe <laughs> And he was like very strong. So Israel were afraid of him. <laughs> Question Who did God choose to be the new king? Number one, David. Mm. 
David brought food to his brothers and the army. He heard Goliath's challenge and was not afraid. How dare you defeat God's army? David asked. I will fight with him. So David brought food for his brother. And like he saw Goliath and like he was like angry at because he was saying bad things about the Israel God. Like Israel God is true and like a good God. He was saying that but from the Bible then the holy room's curtain. Surprised, King Saul offered David his armor. No, said David, God help me to kill white wild beast. He will help me against Goliath too. David took five stones and a sling. So like, Saul King was like, really surprised because like, soldiers were like afraid and they were not fighting with Goliath. But like, as young, young child has came in, but he said he will fight with Goliath and without his armor, but only with five stones and sling. Last time in the Bible, then David fell from King Saul. I am a dog, Goliath Rod. You sent the stick of a boy to fight me. You have a spear, said David. But I have the help of Israel God. So like, Goliath like said, yeah, I have a dog. <laughs> like, yes, then yes, that to fight me. Like, because he, David didn't have any like, spear or those things. And David said, you have a spear, but I have the help of Israel God. David put the stone into the sling and threw it. It stuck Goliath's forehead and knocked him down. The Israel defeat the Palestines with God's help. David was a hero. So like, David slammed it and it stuck in Goliath's forehead. And David was a hero. Question. Scott helped David kill Goliath, the giant, using five stones and a sling. True. But God, without God's help, David was not able to do that. Yes, today I read the Bible story to sit and die. Then next time I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!